hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks in after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphic and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as May Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920 and height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30 and duration is one minute long. And background color is black color and simply hit OK and go to choose grid and guide option and we are going to choose title safe action. Okay, then press Ctrl N to create another composition and we will call it as box and width I'm going to choose 800 and height also 800 and simply hit OK. Then again press Ctrl N to create another composition and over here I'm going to type T over here and simply hit OK. Then press Ctrl Y to create one solid background and choose white color and simply hit enter and we will lock this layer. Now select your text tool I'm going to choose Poppins bold, bold version of this font and I'm going to type T. Select this T and let's increase the size of it. Let's increase the font size. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Select this, press Ctrl Alt Thumb, press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Okay, this is our text. Then after that, I'm going to select my rectangle tool and we are going to delete this fill. We don't need that. And we will choose black color and simply double click to create this kind of structure and let's change the stroke width to 15 press s and let's decrease the size of it somewhere around 92 <coughs> okay select this press ctrl d press s and let's decrease the size somewhere around over here again and we will change the size to 5 <coughs> okay so we will get this kind of structure now let's go to the box and let's simply bring this T over here, press S and let's scale this somewhere around like this. Select this, hit Ctrl D and by holding Ctrl, I'll snap this over here. Select this, hit Ctrl D by holding Ctrl, I'll snap this over here. Hit Ctrl D, snap this over here. Select this, hit Ctrl D, snap this over here. Select this, hit Ctrl D by holding Ctrl, I'll snap it over here. Okay. Now I'm going to select this one and I'll press Y for pen behind tool and by holding control I'll snap this uh, anchor point over here select this hold control snap this anchor point over here this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here so select uh, this one and this one should be parent with this one so I'll select this and I'll make it a parent with this third layer like this select all of them and convert these layers into 3d like this okay then after that uh, we will select this one press r for rotation we have to rotate it on y axis so i'm going to make it minus 90 select this one press r also make this minus 90 select this one press r uh, let's go downwards we have to rotate it on x axis so let's make this minus 90 select this one press r uh, let's make this sorry select this one press R make this plus 90 select this one press R let's make this plus 90 okay hit you and now we will change the parenting also select all of them and don't forget to press ctrl alt home so all of their anchor point is gonna be at the center then go to the left view right click new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3d and we will bring this in middle of this stuff and now select all of them and make it apparent with this null now select this null and simply press s and increase the size uh, and let's bring this properly at the center like this let's go to the active camera view so we're gonna get something like this okay so you can uh, press r so you can rotate this null object like this 
uh, on any direction like this okay so let's make this zero create one keyframe at x over here let's go to around one second and let's make this 180 like this go to around two seconds create one keyframe and then go to around three second and we will make this 360 okay select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get something like this and then we will get something like this then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see we will get something like this okay now i'm going to select this one uh, so uh, initially this this one is in the front so and at this point this one which is this section over here this is not a proper so for that what we can do we i'm going to press s let's unlink this let's make this minus 31 also minus 31 on this x axis also like this okay so you'll get something like this and like this now after that uh, we will select this one we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for tint effect and simply double click to apply and we will swap this color so now if i say this i'm gonna get this kind of animation okay Now after that uh, we are going to select this layer so like this one is the first one and this one over here is the last one and all of this four layers over here uh, what we are going to do we will hit ctrl 0 to open the project settings I am going to select this T and I will hit ctrl D hit enter and let's call it as null okay and hit enter and we are going to select all of these layers like this four layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace these layers with this null go inside this and we will delete all of this stuff we don't need that so uh, we are getting something like this and now we will enable these two layers so what we are going to do we will get that we will get those null layers over here the only thing we want is this one okay now select this null object hit u and alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on okay so what will happen we will get this animation like this or let's go to around four second over here we will create another keyframe so what will happen we will get a little bit of gap in this animation okay now this is for t now we have to create uh, uh, another four uh, letters also so select this t and hit ctrl d hit enter then let's call it as e go inside this and uh, we will change this text to e select this e hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as x go inside this uh, select this and let's call it as x select this uh, i think our layer is ready now go in our main animation com we will bring our box over here press s and let's make this 50 uh, and let's move this over here also select this and convert this layer into 3d layers like this select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and uh, we will move this over here like this let's adjust it properly yep okay then select this box hit ctrl d and by holding alt i am going to change this box go inside this instead of this t i am going to replace with this e by holding alt i'll replace this layer so we'll get different now select this uh, box 2 and hit ctrl d uh, press v and we will bring this over here okay uh, select this box 2 and hit ctrl d select this and by holding alt i'll replace it go inside this select this x and select these two layers and by holding alt i'll replace it okay and we will bring this t over here hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top and i'll bring this over here okay 
now select all of them by holding ctrl a and simply bring this over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now we can adjust it properly with the help of arrow keys so there is no need of any gap As you guys can see there is still a gap so we have to fix it okay and now all you need to do is just adjust it by taking distance of 10 10 frames with the help of open square bracket i will adjust it like this and press b over here and if you go inside this uh, and if you hit u as you guys can see the animation is ending at four second uh, over here and i'll hit and over here okay uh, so simply go to the start and simply select all of them and let's move this over here and around four seconds and uh, this animation is gonna be in the form of loop okay now select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text and hit ok like this okay and if you want uh, you can select these layers you can go to the effect and presets and you can apply tint effect on it copy this and uh, paste it over here like this okay and press ctrl y to create one solid background and simply hit ok and let's bring this downwards select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and increase the distance to 20 and increase the softness to 400 and uh, let's increase the distance to 80 and i'm going to choose 35 okay select this text and hit ctrl d and simply bring this over here like this okay select this and hit ctrl d and simply bring this downward like this okay and now we are going to take a distance of 10 10 frames so uh, select this move this over here and move this over here select all of them and hold alt open square bracket go to the start and simply move this over here and let's make this chord resolution okay so this is how we will get this kind of looping animation inside of after effects okay you can make this full resolution also like this and this is going to be continuously in the form of loop okay so this is how you will get this kind of animation